Hey everyone, Elliot here. Today we're diving into a topic that a lot of you have been curious about. Removing that pesky iPhone lock to owner message. You know, the iCloud activation lock that seems to cling to your iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches like super glue. We've all been there, right? Trying to figure out if tools like EasyUS Mobi Unlock are the magic key to unlocking iCloud. But here's the thing. While these services might seem tempting, they're often not the best path to follow. Sure, they promise a lot, but the reality can be quite different. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you a way better, safer, and absolutely free alternative. It's not just quicker, but it's guaranteed to work. Trust me, it's going to be a game changer. Let's dive in. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. When you find yourself with an iPhone locked to its original owner, it's quite a hassle, especially if you've just bought it secondhand. You're excited about your new phone, but then you hit this roadblock. This is where services like iUnlock app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and Unlock, here's AI powered unlocking web app come in handy. These services are a cut above the rest, leveraging AI to deal with iCloud unlocking. Each one has its own unique approach. iUnlock app is straightforward and no nonsense. Safe Unlocks offers resourceful solutions. Lock to Owner is known for its reliability. And Unlock Here's App, it's the tech wizard of the bunch, simplifying the unlocking process. They're not just overnight creations. These services have evolved alongside Apple's security updates. It's a tech challenge, but they managed to keep up. Coming up, we'll delve into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. It's an interesting tool for tech enthusiasts and anyone interested in how AI can streamline complex tasks like unlocking an iPhone. Stay tuned for that insight. It's important to note that these unlock services typically work only in first world countries. If you're unable to access these services or prefer not to use them, there's still a chance for you. We offer 250 unlocks every week for viewers of our videos. To be eligible, all you need to do is engage with this video. Here's how. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Comment below with your phone model like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. That's it. Once you complete these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw for a free unlock. Remember, your participation is key. So make sure to follow each step to be considered for the unlock giveaway. To start unlocking your device using unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app, first open your browser on your phone or computer. Head to unlockhere.com. When you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. You will then choose your device type, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now it's time to enter your IMEI or serial number. For iPhones, use the IMEI number. Some iPads and Apple Watches will also have an IMEI if they come with a SIM card slot or cellular capabilities. Most of them, however, only have a serial number. To find this, on your lock device, press the sleep button, press it again, and then tap the eye icon at the bottom right corner to see your device info. Then enter that device information here to proceed with the unlocking process. Next, enter your basic information. And this is important to link the order to your account and to ensure you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email later on. Make sure to agree to the terms, confirming that you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Before you proceed, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete a quick CAPTCHA. Afterward, click start process. And just like that, you're well on your way you should receive an email with a confirmation code shortly after check your spam or junk folder too, as it sometimes ends up there. Once you've received the code, retrieve it, enter it back on unlock here, and shortly after, complete a step to confirm that you're not a robot. Then simply tap the button to validate the information and the unlocking process will begin smoothly. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. 
Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. To remove the lock from your iPhone, there are a couple of options you can try. Contact Apple support with the original invoice. Here's what you do. Find the original purchase invoice for your iPhone. It should have details like the date of purchase, store name, and the device's details. Contact Apple support. You can do this either through their website, by phone, or by visiting an Apple store. Explain your situation to them and provide the invoice as proof of ownership. Follow their instructions. They might ask for additional information to verify your claim. Another option is resetting the Apple ID at Apple's website. If you know the Apple ID but forgot the password, you can reset it. Here's how. Go to Apple's official website for managing your Apple ID, often found at iforgot.apple.com. Enter your Apple ID, which is usually your email address. Follow the prompts to reset your password. This may involve answering security questions or receiving a verification code on a trusted device or phone number. Once you've successfully reset your password, use your new credentials to unlock your iPhone. Remember, these steps are for legitimate owners who have either bought the phone new or received it as a gift with proper documentation. iCloud Unlock software can be a handy solution for unlocking your iPhone, but it's important to know that this method requires a Windows computer, making it not accessible to everyone. Here's a brief guide on using iCloud Unlock software. There are various iCloud Unlock software options available. However, many might not work as expected. It's crucial to pick one that is reputable and has positive user feedback. When you download any software, there's always a risk of accidentally downloading malware. Be extra cautious and ensure you're downloading from a legitimate source. Once you've found a trustworthy software, download and install it on your Windows computer. Follow the software's instructions to unlock your iPhone. However, if you're not comfortable downloading software or don't have access to a Windows computer, online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks can be safer alternatives. These services don't require any downloads, minimizing the risk of malware. You simply use their online platform to unlock your iPhone, making the process more straightforward and secure. If the seller of your iPhone is cooperative, they can help you remove the iCloud lock from your device. This method is a good alternative when you're in contact with the previous owner. Here's what the seller needs to do. They should visit iCloud.com and sign in using their iCloud credentials. This is the account associated with the iPhone. Once logged in, they need to click on Find iPhone. This option is part of the iCloud services. In the Find iPhone section, they'll see a list of devices linked to their iCloud account. Here, they should find and select your iPhone, the one with the issue of being locked to the owner. After selecting the device, they need to click on Erase. This step will remotely reset your iPhone, wiping all the data, including the iCloud lock. Finally, they should click on Remove from Account. This step is crucial as it officially releases the iPhone from their ownership in the iCloud system. Once these steps are completed, your iPhone should be free from the previous owner's iCloud account, restoring its full functionality for you to set it up as your own. Thanks for staying with us throughout this tutorial. We hope it has successfully provided the solutions you needed 